Why as someone who has a tech YouTube channel, I own a phone that by today's standards, it's old. And I want to answer that question in this video. This video, just before we begin officially, it's mostly unscripted. For this one, I wanted it to come a little bit more natural and a little bit more organic, I think. So if you see me looking at the screen, it's because I've written down some points that I want to make sure I talk about. But again, this for the most part is unscripted. But yeah, to answer the question in short, this is enough. I know some of you out there might have a similar phone, might have a somewhat new-ish phone or even something older than this, and that's fine. I think that, you again, you don't need to chase the latest and greatest to have a decent experience with anything, really. Like, I am recording this video in a Sony a7 III. That camera, it's as old as this phone, and I am perfectly happy with it. Though, in this video, I want to give you three reasons why I don't chase the latest and greatest when it comes to mobile phones the number one reason it's that i just don't get as excited for new phone releases as with any other tech i would easily get excited about a new console coming out i don't own a console but that means that newer and possibly better games will come out for pc new peripherals coming out um i would also get excited about new computer monitors new computer graphics cards new processors also um that other kind of tech it's not as expensive as getting a newer iphone for example like you have to spend i think like a thousand dollars to uh get the iphone 15 the the base model if i'm not mistaken that's a lot of money for a phone and that essentially it's going to do the exact same thing that this is doing for me just a little better in some areas and uh in areas that matter is why i am considering an upgrade to an iphone 15 but i'll talk a bit about that later and my lack of excitement for new phones ties in also to the next reason why i don't chase latest and greatest phones and that is that I try to keep my phone usage at a minimum I want to spend as little time as possible on the phone I would rather spend the time that I would be doom scrolling on Instagram or any other application for that matter um, with my family with my daughter with my wife maybe even playing a game or reading a book I want to read or making these YouTube videos or uh, watching YouTube videos about video editing or something that adds value to me that it's intentional uh, that's I, I think that's the key there is intentionally spending your time if you are wasting four hours of your time in a day on social media just again doom scrolling not using it productively maybe for your business or something else um, but using it because as a way of distracting yourself and those distractions last for four hours a day you are essentially working a part-time job on your phone without getting paid think about that again i have a you know i have a wife i have a daughter i have a full-time job and i have this youtube channel i want to grow and i would rather not waste my time just scrolling through social media doing absolutely nothing i'm not saying that it's inherently bad to be on social media uh, i do have social media but i use it intentionally and I even try keeping Instagram or any other applications that make me lose my time out of my phone. And I only install them if I wanna check on something very particular. Maybe I wanna check out a business or I want to post something for my uh, social media for this channel, like very specific uses. If I see myself just doom scrolling, I would uninstall immediately. And the third reason why I don't chase the latest and greatest upgrade, it's because for me, if the upgrade it's not solving a problem I have or is 
not satisfying a need i don't consider it i want to be intentional with my upgrades with where i spend my money um like everybody else have wasted money on stuff i shouldn't have bought like think to yourself if you are considering an upgrade what problem is that upgrade solving and or what need is it satisfying if you cannot confidently answer those questions you probably don't need it and you just want the newer and shinier iphone and again not saying that that's wrong like if you have the cash and you want to give yourself the luxury of owning the latest and greatest go for it um if you can be my guest so to briefly cover the reason why i am even considering upgrading in the first place i think ties into that third point i talked about um and it's that i believe and that's why i'm not doing this right away but i believe that it's possibly solving a problem in my case i want to maybe post vertical content in instagram a little bit more often for this channel if i need to snap some pictures in a pinch i want to have a little bit more quality when i do that um if it's snap a video of my daughter doing something i want to have a little bit more quality when i get that video and uh, maybe have a little bit more battery life when i'm on the go when i'm home it doesn't matter i often just place my phone on a wireless charger while I work and uh, I'll be using my phone maybe by the end of the day and at that point uh, I don't spend too much on the phone and again this is something that I'm just considering it's not like I'm placing an order tomorrow uh, but yeah I think that uh, this is due for an upgrade uh, it has served me pretty well it will still work pretty well while i consider my options but yeah i want to end this video you know with the same note as it started and it's that if you have an older phone if you're considering upgrading from where you are right now just think about it this probably if you have something like this it's enough i'll see you guys in the next one peace